In 2005, medicine crossed a line once thought impossible. A moment when science, ethics, and hope collided, changing the future of reconstructive surgery forever. This is the story of the world's first partial human face transplant. On November 27, 2005, a team of French surgeons made history. Their patient, Isabel Dinoire, a woman whose life had been shattered months earlier when a dog attack left her without a nose, lips, and much of her face. Her injuries were devastating, physically, emotionally, and socially. Traditional reconstructive surgery couldn't restore basic functions like speaking, eating, or even expressing emotion. That's when surgeons Bernard de Vachel and Jean-Michel Dubernard made a bold decision. Attempt a procedure never successfully performed on a human being, a partial face transplant. The risks? Immense. Rejection, infection, lifelong immunosuppressants, and a maze of ethical questions. But the potential reward? Giving their patient the ability to live again. The operation lasted 15 hours. Surgeons transplanted a triangle of facial tissue, nose, lips, and chin, from a deceased donor onto Isabel. It required connecting arteries, veins, muscles, and nerves with microscopic precision. When the final sutures were placed, the room went silent. They had done it. In the days that followed, the world waited. Slowly, Isabel's new face began to heal. She could drink, speak, smile, small miracles once thought impossible. Her story became a symbol of courage, sparking global debate about the future of transplant surgery. Ethical concerns, donor rights, identity, Questions humanity had never fully faced before. But the breakthrough opened the door to more. Full face transplants. Better reconstruction techniques. New technologies that allow burn victims, accident survivors, and wounded soldiers to regain not just function, but humanity. In 2005, in a quiet French hospital, history changed, not with machines or medicine alone, but with a single daring decision. That every face, every life, is worth fighting for. A moment when science didn't just rebuild a face, it rebuilt a future.